Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to begin by uh, frankly agreeing with my friend. The time to act has long since passed. We tried to act a long time ago. We tried to act in May. Nobody in the Senate uh, chose to pick up our bill, send us back something different. Is there, was there right? Didn't do anything at all. We tried to act in December. Nobody did anything in the Senate then. We offered to negotiate with the President for weeks. Instead, we saw a six weeks, eight week campaign all over the country. Uh, no, no time, evidently, in the President's busy schedule in city after city at photo op after photo op to simply get on the phone, call the speaker and say, how'd you like to come down and talk until the very last day before sequester when it become evident that this type of political bullying wouldn't work. So we believe the time is past to act. That's why we're acting today. We're actually going to secure the cuts that are in the legislation that the president advocated for. He originated the idea. I accept the Woodward version of that, I suppose. Uh, and he signed it into law. And he had 18 months to do something about it. We offered two opportunities in that time frame to do something. And the speaker has always been available to sit down with the president and do something. But we are going to take a small step in the right direction. Now, let's not overestimate what we're doing. Uh, you know, we could probably uh, take more pride in this than, than is warranted. Our friends, I think, are, are, are shouting more alarm than is necessary. This is $85 billion in a $3.5 trillion deficit, 2.4%. We ought to be able to do that in our sleep. And quite frankly, we are willing to sit down and renegotiate with our friends where they come from. We're not willing to renegotiate the total amount of the money involved. Over time, it does add up to $1.2 trillion. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But it's not anywhere near what it's going to take to get our budget in balance. I look forward to the debates we're going to have on that in the budget discussions ahead. Uh, and, and, but let's right now, while we have that debate and while we go through that process, take the responsible step that the President urges us to take and that we all agree on. And that's simply let's make sure that government doesn't shut down while we have our discussion and sort out our differences. I applaud Chairman Rogers and Chairman Sessions for making that possible, particularly for bringing this bill in a timely fashion, giving us enough time where we're not going to be jammed. I know my, our friends in the Senate are going to try and do the same thing. They're going to produce, I have no doubt, a different product than we do. That's fine. We'll negotiate it out. We'll avoid a government shutdown. But we will secure these savings for the taxpayers of the United States, and we will then take the next step in a longer discussion. Mr. Speaker, in closing, I'd like to say I believe we've had a good debate on the rule. I believe the underlying bill provides the American people with the hope that we can do the basic functions that we were sent here to accomplish, funding the government. To close, I would urge my colleagues to support this rule and the underlying legislation. Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time, and I move the previous question on the resolution.